How's it going everyone? So in this video, we're gonna do a push-up workout. Before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Also, please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So the exercise that we're going to do today is gonna to be static push-up holds. This is a great push-up variation to really get you to do more push-ups in a row. It's amazing. We're gonna do 10 second holds. Um, if you want, you can go a little bit longer if these are too easy for you, but for most people, 10 seconds should be pretty good. So let's get started right now. We'll do 10 second holds. And again, all a static push-up hold is, is this. We're just holding the push-up position for 10 seconds. And again, this allows you just to tighten your, get your form down good, hold that position. Because when we do push-ups, we're not in that position for a very long time. So this is static push-up holds at the top. You can do static push-up hold in the middle or at the bottom. You can do whatever you want. We're just doing it at the top for now. Yeah, so this is my second video. It's only 2.50. I made my first video at 2.35. So I got off work at like two o'clock. I was super, super pumped up early day. Um, very happy about that. So I'm gonna be able to make videos. Um, I should be able to get nine nine videos in for sure by 5.30. That's when my wife gets off work. She gets home at about six. So I might be able to get in nine, 10, 11, nine videos for sure, maybe 10 or 11 vids. That would be pretty dope. What sucks though is tomorrow, oh, I love Saturdays, I love Sundays, but I have schooling to do. I'm just ready to like quit doing this schooling, but I don't wanna be a quitter. I've never quit anything in my life, so I don't wanna start now. But at the same time, it's just, it's kind of pointless to do something when you know for a fact you're gonna fail it. Like, it's, it's pointless. Like, it's not, it's not fun at all. Perfect. But yeah, um, what I might do first thing in the morning is I might make vids, maybe make nine videos in three hours, but then I could get up at seven, do that till 10. Um, I have some delivery guys coming to pick up my old oven and we just bought a new oven. So they're bringing the new oven too. So that'll probably take an hour or two. And um, then I'll have to get groceries. Then like the whole day is gonna be shot basically. Um, if I make videos from seven to 10, then those guys come, it'll be about noon, get groceries, probably one o'clock. And then hang out with the wife for a bit, probably a couple hours. And then that's like three, four o'clock. Then maybe do schooling at nighttime. I don't know, maybe do three, four hours at night. It's just, it's such a freaking burden to do that schooling. Like it's so annoying. Like you should have never, have never have taken that course. But oh well, live and learn. I took the course because I wanted to do something working from home and making my own hours. So next year, and I've been talking about this in quite a few of my videos in the last couple of days, is I want to retire. I know, crazy, right? Not fully retire, semi-retire. So what that means is just working less. Yeah, you're gonna make less money, but at the same time, you get more freedom, you get more of what you want. And I don't need to work full time to grow my investments, make get money in my savings, and still retire at like 50, 55. I don't need to work full time for all that to happen. I can I can work part time and still still make that happen. So that's kind of what I'm planning to do, but I'm really looking hard for jobs that are at home. I want to work from home. Like that's just that's my biggest that's my biggest goal is to work from home and to create my own hours. Kind of what I do with YouTube. I do my own thing for YouTube and I love it. I want a job to be just like that. I don't want to have to go in every day, see the boss, blah, 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 do all that crap. I just want to do my own thing at home. So again, that's, that's kind of what I'm striving for. Again, for anyone wondering how the hell is this possible, um, I saved up a lot of money when I was growing up, uh, had some good jobs at the time, and now uh, mortgage will be completely paid off by next year. And then, um, yeah, then all I have really is just to do part-time and allow my savings to continue to grow. Um, and that's, that's about it. Do that for 
till I'm 55 and then call her, call her a day or call her a year. Then I don't have to work out with her again. Okay. Again, this gets pretty tough if you do it uh, for like 10 sets, it'll get tougher and tougher as you do it. But yeah, I'm thinking about working 30 hours. One thing that has been getting me really down though, uh, since I've started thinking about doing this, I will do it, but what really got me down and something that my wife said too, is that if you're working part-time, generally they're gonna get you to work on the weekend. That's 110% a no for me. I'm not working the freaking weekend. Um, I'll work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's what I want. I wanna work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 hour days. So to find a job that I like, let's just say I found a job that I like, and then for them to get me those kind of hours might be pretty damn tough to do. So uh, we will see. And again, if you guys are wondering, because uh, a lot of people will comment say, how do you have the money to do this? Uh, again, by paying off your mortgage, here's the thing, apartments versus mortgages, or sorry, apartment living versus house living, is it, it's, it's more affordable for people to live in an apartment, but it's cheaper to live in a house, especially if your house is paid off. If your house is paid off, like it's like way, way cheaper to pay uh, to live in a house. For example, rent where I am from in an apartment is $1,500. So in a year, that's $18,000. That's some good math for you. Uh, I just did that in my head real quick. So that's $18,000 that you have to pay them just to live there. Now for my house, my house is paid off. I don't have a mortgage to pay each month, nothing. The only thing that I have to pay for are my bills, which me and my wife, we split. And on top of that, we have, we have our gas, our water, our power, our internet, and our security system. We don't have TV, we just watch everything on Netflix. So um, all of those bills combined, and that this is all my bills is $400. And me and the wife split it in half. We split everything in half. So um, I, I need to come up with 200 bucks a month. That's it. So 200 bucks compared to the person 18 grand. Like it, it's not even, it's, it's not even close. But then people will be like, what's your house tax? What's your property tax? Or what's your house tax? What's your insurance? Our insurance is like nothing. It comes out to maybe a hundred bucks a month. So 50 bucks a piece for me and my wife. And then you got house taxes. Um, that comes out to $200 a month for me, for uh, all together, so a hundred bucks each for me and my wife. So you can add the tax and the insurance onto my bills, which are 200. That gives a total of $350 compared to the guy that's paying $1,600 a month. Because again, with your apartment, you pay that rent every single month. It never goes down. It stays exactly the same. So, and that's not even including their internet, their TV. Uh, a lot of people have TV. TV is pretty expensive in my opinion. It's just easier to just watch stuff on the internet, watch it on Netflix. That's what, I mean, that's what I do. But yeah, like the price of living it's more affordable though for someone to live in an apartment because most people can't come up with a huge freaking down payment that it takes to get like a house. So it's very, um, it's very tough for people to do that. And I completely understand where they're going because most millennials will never own a house in their whole life just because it's, it's that much money. And here's the thing, here's the caveat. Let's just say that the millennials, I'm a millennial, let's just say that people do afford a house with just the bare minimum down payment, then you are absolutely screwed. I, like, I apologize, but if you take a 5% down payment on your house, you are in trouble because your mortgage payments are gonna be freaking skyrocket. That's just, that's my take on it. But anyways, that's just kind of what's been on my mind. So I like to talk to my subscribers about that. And it makes the video go by so quick. We're like this video is already done, 10 minutes done. That's how quick it was. Okay, end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Please like the video, share it. 
please follow me on Instagram, Dylan Berg 999. Thanks.